So God kind of blew my mind this morning at 3 a.m. I woke up at 3 a.m. and I felt like I should pray. And just for context, I haven't woken up at 3 a.m. in so long. Um, so I tried to go back to bed, but I really felt the Holy Spirit want me to pray. And the Holy Spirit essentially told me to just praise God and to thank him for everything that he's done in my life and for what he's going to do in my life. Because I asked the Holy Spirit, like, okay, God, what do you want to talk to me about? Like, what should I pray about? And I just literally felt God tell me to praise him and to be grateful for the things that he's done and for what he's going to do. And I mean to be very specific. I don't just mean like, oh, I thank you for like the breath in my lungs, which is good. But like the very specific things that he has done for me, which in just this month alone have been numerous, like crazy. I mean, just two days ago, I was in one of the nicest fanciest restaurants in dc celebrating like my birthday and then prior to that i got a whole lot of money that i had just been like having fun with and just buying lots of clothes with and just you know just living my best life essentially but the crazy thing about it is that i've kind of been depressed for a lot of months because i have this promise that i'm waiting on god for and my perspective has been so focused on what i don't have like it's been so hard for me to be happy because I keep focusing or I've, I've been focusing on the thing that I don't have yet. And it's crazy because it robbed me of praising God and being grateful to God for everything that I do have and for all the ways that he has provided for me. And they've been numerous. I mean, I'm talking specific things that God has done for me. I have never lacked anything. I've always had what I needed even what I wanted and like the little things. But it just taught me or God was trying to show me that like the enemy can rob us. First of all, the enemy will try to rob God of your praise because God is worthy of your praise. And he'll try to rob God of your praise by making you focus on what you don't have as opposed to what you do have and what God has given you. But you need to learn to magnify the Lord and magnify the Lord does not mean to make God bigger. Because when you put a magnifying glass on something, it just, it doesn't make that thing bigger. What it does is it shifts the perspective so that thing looks bigger because of a shift in perspective. Shout out to Stephen Furtick for giving me that analogy. So change your perspective. Some of you guys are crying about the fact that you don't have open doors, but you do. Some of you are standing in your open doors, are standing in your blessings, but because of your perspective, you don't see them as blessings. You don't see them as open doors. You don't see the need to be grateful to God because the enemy is trying to keep you focused on what you don't have, on the negative, as opposed to what you do have and what God has blessed you with. So shift your perspective and be very specific today about praising God. Like literally make a whole list about all the things God has done for you and give God his praise.